Hey everyone, welcome to the Game Week 26 preview video. Um, this week is a tough week because I don't know, have any idea what transfer I necessarily want to do. It's a tough decision for me this week uh, just because I like a lot of my players and where they are and what kind of fixtures they have. So setting my team has been hard, making a transfer has been tough, um, but we'll take a look at what I'm kind of thinking as far as both of those things right now. Um, so please, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Close to 80 subscribers, so try to get me there, please. And that just makes making these videos that much better, so we can create some dialogue and grow the channel. Anyway, jumping into the team, we got what I think is going to be Chesney in uh, goal against Torino. What's nice in the case that he doesn't play with Champions League coming up, I should have Lazzarini against Genoa, which I'd still have some faith in that could be a clean sheet, as Lazzarini did start last week. Uh, in the defense, I have Mira Rui, uh, Patric, and Calabria right now, um, all very potential clean sheets. Uh, and so Napoli against Cagliari obviously can be one. Lazio against Udinese might be tough, especially they're still on uh, right now. I actually have the game on the background against uh, Porto. So they're coming off a, champ or a Europa League game, sorry. And then uh, AC Milan against Slurnitana, which as long as Calabria plays, I definitely want him in there. My easiest sit of the week is Singo against Juventus. Uh, the other ones are a little tougher. Uh, looking into the midfield, I got Chilinoglu, Dybala, uh, Brahim Diaz, and Milinkovic Savic, again, all facing weaker opponents. So Swallow's been super leaky all season, so I have a feeling they're going to score some goals against Chilinoglu, or against Sassuolo. Check out Chilinoglu hopefully gets a goal or assist there. Uh, Dybala's been great lately, so definitely going to have him. Against Salernitana, you know I'm going to have Diaz play and Milinkovic Savic in there as well. And again, from similar teams, I got three strikers as well. Vlavic with the armband. I'm tempted to put the armband on Leao. He's been scoring more consistently lately. Um, and it's against Slonatana. So I might switch that up, but I know I'd regret it. And I know that Vlavic will be heavily capped in this week as well if Vlavic went off. And I am not going to be missing any Jekyll points this week either. It's definitely starting against the Swallow. Uh, it's tough to sit Oliveira and Smalling. Obviously, Oliveira is a deeper midfielder, does do a lot of the set pieces. Seems like he got taken off of penalties as Tammy Abraham took the last one. Um, so I don't know about free kicks and corner slum, assuming he still has them, but it looks like Tammy Abraham has penalties again for Roma. And then we got Chris Smalling. Again, I just think out of these teams, I think Roma would be the one most likely to con uh, concede at the end of the day. So that's how this decision got made. Um, so some things that I'm thinking about as far as my transfer, I'm almost number one leaning just to not do a transfer, which totally goes against everything I believe in. It's not like you can bank, if you can bank transfers, easy decision, no transfer this week, but you can't bank them. So it's a wasted one if I don't do anything. Um, and so I'm thinking I want single for the future. One thing that I'm flirting with is doing a kind of a lateral move from smalling back to car store. Um, it at least uses the transfer and it gets me a more attacking defender again. Smalling kind of pissed me off last week with that own goal. And Karsdorp still showed to be starting. The only thing is, if Karsdorp is sharing time with Ainsley Mate and Niles, then that would complicate things and send me back in the wrong direction. So I do want to try to see, as long as I can, what the projected lineups for this week are going to be to see who's in there between Karsdorp, Smalling, and any other defenders. Again, I could make a similar idea move with either Amir or Rui or Calabria, seeing the um, projected lineups and choosing a player accordingly there. It's kind of nice having a situation sometimes where you don't know what you want to use or transfer on because you don't want to use one because it gives you a lot of flexibility that way and you can make a transfer that you wouldn't normally make that's like a very lateral one. The other one, and it's unlikely, but like if I have to make a transfer as well, if I'm not doing something like that, it's, it's tough because Juventus is next a, uh, nine fixtures. They have eight games where yeah you could absolutely see them get a clean sheet so it's tough to move out Shenzi in that situation but if just in the sake of getting money if I already have a playing goalkeeper right now in Lazzarini then getting a second cheap uh, playing goalkeeper that would bank me about uh, probably close to two mil but probably about 1.5 mil and attempt to maybe get back up to uh, Immobile and ship out ship out Jekyll 
that might be worth it as well. Bring in a Cragno or a Sirgu or someone like that, that I know could definitely uh, still play well as a keeper, but, um, but it's just, it's hard when Juventus has the fixtures that they have to move Shenzi out. So I think it's kind of unlucky, but it's the second possibility. So it's either really right now, no transfer, a lateral move probably in my defense or something like that, unless I see one of my midfielders isn't starting. Or um, or possibly move Shenzi out for a cheaper goalkeeper to bank some cash. Let me know what you would think in the comments. What makes the most sense to you? Um, and as for a top five uh, for this week, uh, first off, I got Zakani, uh Lazio uh, winger who scored two goals against Bologna the other day. And he scored in their Europa League match here against Porto. Um, he's been on fire, plays on the wing, normally beside Immobile. Um, right now in this game, I believe it's beside uh, either Rodriguez or Felipe or someone. Um, but anyway, in those attack positions, and he's been scoring on a hot streak right now in form. So definitely someone to look at. Um, I need to go with some of the Juve guys, just with their fixtures coming up. Eight out of nine are games where I'd probably captain a Juve player, to be truly honest. Uh, so I got Vlavic in there in two and Dybala in there in three. He seem, his health seems to be good right now. So I trust that. And um, I'd say both of those are big players to go for right now. Next one is Leao, not only because he's been on fire and scoring, not only because AC Milan has great fixtures right now as well, but at a price point of under 7 mil, that leaves a lot of space to put money elsewhere as well. So I think Leao is a really good player to have in your lineup right now. And lastly, I'll go with Theo Fernandez coming back off of suspension. Uh, with these good fixtures, I could see him putting in goals and getting assists at quite a bit in the next couple of weeks, which isn't going to be fun for me because I'm probably not going to own him. So uh, recouping there, Zakanji from Lazio, Flavic and Dybala from Juve, and Leao and Theo Hernandez from Milan. Let me know what you think, if you disagree or think other players should be put there uh, in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you during the review. It's four, mat or four days, matches over the course of four days this week, so it'll be a little bit for a review video, but I'll see you then. Take care.